What's up guys, I'm back. I know it's been a long time. I was away, I went on a holiday to Medellin, a city in Colombia, and one of the places I visited was called the Comuna Trece, a district in Medellin. At first I thought to myself, why should we visit a place like this? It's just a town with some graffiti in it. Nothing special, right? Well, I was wrong, completely wrong. After the tour ended, I left with some extra knowledge and inspiration. That's what I want to share with you guys today. The history of the Comuna 13 and how these six escalators changed the place forever. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more interesting content. Let's go. Before Comuna Tresi became a tourist attraction, it was not a place for you to go. Taxi drivers would have refused to take you there or they would ask you if you want to die before declining your request. In other words, this place was very dangerous. It became so dangerous because it was a transit route for a big portion of arms, drugs and money. So if a gang would have taken control over that area, they could make a lot of money. That's why there was constant war between gangs who wanted control over this area. Between 1980 and 1990, it was ruled by the Medellin cartel, but it got taken over by the guerrilla soldiers shortly after the Colombian government started getting close to taking out the Medellin cartel. After they removed Pablo Escobar from Colombia, they wanted to deal with the guerrillas that took over Comuna 13. They did this with this controversial operation in 2002 called Operation Orion. In this operation, the government sent paramilitary soldiers to fight the guerrillas, but these guys weren't that much better. The paramilitary soldiers, after some time, didn't know who was a guerrilla and who wasn't, so they'd often shoot at regular people thinking they were undercover guerrilla soldiers. A lot of family members and friends were lost because of this. They placed these people in a mass grave on a mountain. To this day, they didn't find any bodies there. The government decided that enough is enough. The violence needs to stop. So in 2011, they installed the Escaleras Electricas, the six escalators that connect the isolated parts with the city below. After all of the violence, the mentality of the people living there wasn't great. They also couldn't get a job that easily because the traveling distance between the supposed job and their house was just insufferable. After the escalators came, people could now easily move up and down from their house and their jobs or to each other's houses so everything began to operate faster. At the same time, many artists went to the streets to paint their perception of the history of the Comuna and murals of artists or icons they like. In other words, the Comuna 13 made a very big improvement from where it was. People began to notice that this place was changing for the better and started visiting it. This created more opportunities such as tour guides, opening up souvenir shops, doing breakdance shows and selling the local food to tourists in the tour. What really struck me was the people's determination for change. They didn't sit around worrying about how sad they are, even though they would have had every reason to. In this dark time, the people saw light. They worked with what they got, made it into a tourist attraction and this gathered more money for them to use to make it better and so on. The people had hope. Maybe at first not everyone, but after seeing some artists make their dreams of speaking their voice come true and others using dance to express their feelings more and more, people started getting hope. A sort of snowball effect, you could say. They changed the murals from time to time. This makes your visits every more special because the comuna never looks the same. The Comuna Tresis started out very rough, the people turned it into something great and it keeps on getting better. I encourage everyone if you find time in your life to go to the Comuna Tresis. It's one of those places where you can get a tour of people who've actually experienced the life before it got better. This tour has the ability to give you another way of looking at your life. Maybe you'll find out that there are things in your life that you shouldn't really complain about or maybe you're not in a great place at the moment and the way the people build themselves up can inspire you to do the same. Either Ray, it was a very great experience and I highly recommend it. That's the end of this video. If you liked it, a like and a sub is appreciated. If you didn't or you wanted to add something, put it in the comments and let's talk.